This is a tutorial on how to self-quiz uh, for French and Spanish at home. So first of all, you'll need the following things. So a normal pen, a purple pen, your planner for your self-quizzing, the knowledge organiser that you're using for this term, and your French or Spanish homework book. We are going to start by using the look, cover, say, write, check method, which we will use our knowledge organiser um, for in our homework book. So, in class, students will be told uh, how many sentences or which sentences they need to be learning at home for that week. For example, um, it might be one to four. So, the knowledge organiser has the French or the Spanish on the left and the English on the right. So, the look, cover, say, write, check method uh, is looking at the knowledge organiser. I'm going to read the, I'm going to start with number one, I'm going to read the English. So, I live in a town which calls itself, or is called, Yate. So, it's written in literal translation, in a literal translation of English that I live in a town which calls itself, or is called, Yate. Then I'm going to read the French, j'habite dans une ville qui s'appelle Yate, and I'm going to look, cover it, and try and write it out. After I've written it, I'm going to check it using my purple pen. I'm going to check each individual word. So, j'habite, j'habite, dans, dans, une, ville, qui, s'appelle. So, I've spelt s'appelle wrong. So, I'm going to circle it. I'm going to put my correction on the side. And, yet. Okay, I'm then going to try the same one again. So, look. Cover, say, j'habite dans une ville qui s'appelle Yates. Write, and I'm going to check it again. So, j'habite dans une ville. So. I've made a mistake here this time, so I'm going to add in my E. Ville is correct. Key. So I've made the same mistake again, so I'm going to write it out again with the correction. And Yate is correct. Okay, I'm going to keep writing out number one until I've got it accurate two times. So I want it accurate twice before I then move on to number two. I'm then going to do number two, number three. And number four. So the expectation per week, if it's one or two, uh, one and two, or one, two and three, or even one, two, three and four, depending on which lessons we have that week, um, is about a side of A4 in the homework books. After I have learnt those sentences from the knowledge organiser, it's then time to test myself using my planner. So in my planner, I'm going to turn to the correct page. And for the questions, I'm going to write out. Oh, it's gone a bit blurry. There we go. So for the questions, I'm going to write out the English from the knowledge organiser. So, line number one I live in a town. Which calls itself or is called, you can write either, Yates. Then I'll write number two, and which finds itself or is located, etc. Okay, once I've written out all of my questions, so if I'm only learning two lines or if I'm learning four, then I can just alternate them on each line. So if I'm learning two, I can go back for number three. I live in a town which calls itself Yates because then I can really test myself again and again to make sure that I know the um, French really, really well or the Spanish. And then I'm going to put everything else away so I can no longer see any of the answers. I can't see my knowledge organiser. I don't have my homework book in front of me. And I'm going to test myself to see whether I know the French. So I live in a town which calls itself Yates. J'habite dans une ville 
qui s'appelle Yates.